So, how did you get started in disc golf? Um, I got started when I was about 12 years old. I, I saw my first disc. So I was at church camp and they had baskets set up and I asked uh, one of the leaders, uh, how can I get involved with that? It looks fun. He brought me out and immediately I got that little sidearm and I got it to flex like, you know, I figured out how this flies pretty quickly. Started playing at my local courses with my dad and then I found the club like about a year on probably. That's when I got really involved. Okay, so you found the club. Yep. And which club was that? That was uh, the Western Arkansas Flying Disc Association. So Wafta. Wafta. All right. They're out of Fort Smith, pretty much, and they stretched into my hometown, Greenwood. They built a course there in 09. Um, that's when I really got into that, because they built a course about a half mile from where I lived. I could actually walk to it if I really wanted to play disc golf, and I did a couple times. But, nice. Uh, yeah, that was when I got into it. I met the club there. I started getting competitive and just kind of worked my way up. I played a tournament in Fort Smith, Arkansas, Hell on the Border. It was my first tournament ever. And it was just a blast. I got addicted from there. I played juniors, didn't really ever do that again. <laughs> So, do you remember your first disc? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, technically, my very first disc was an Aerobee Epic. Aerobee Epic. Because I thought it looked cool. I'm like, ooh, this is going to go far. <laughs> uh, I threw it sidearm, I think. Okay. But um, then I kind of realized that this other Millennium disc flew really, really clean when I threw it sidearm. So I started throwing that a lot. I do remember like my first two discs I ordered ever was a Champion T-Bird and a Champion Firebird. Nice. Um, I'll never forget those discs because I, I really got into those ones. Yeah. But I don't have either of them anymore. <laughs> so did you start off natural backhand, natural forehand? Okay, um, take my birdie. Well, I started off with a forehand, naturally, because that's how I could get it to fly far, quick, and I knew how it flew, because I just did the big S-curve with an overstable driver, usually. Um, but when I really got competitive, I started looking at YouTube videos, how did the pros do it? And that's when I pretty much decided, okay, if I want to be good at disc golf, I gotta have a backhand. And so I just started forcing myself playing backhand only. That's the way I did it, and I kind of lost a touch of my forehand, had to gain it back, but now I'm a backhand dominant player because of that. After all these years, it's just natural. I don't have to think at all about throwing a backhand. You seem to jump putt quite a bit. Yeah. Um, what, when when do you, you know, is it right outside the circle? Do you have a, a line, an imaginary line in your head? Or just when you feel it? I mean, it's uh, pretty much right outside the circle. It's nice playing pro tour events because they have the circles there and they're actually really, really close. So when I'm right outside the circle at a pro tour event, as long as it's not straight downhill, I'm jumping. I like uphill putts because you can really follow through on them but the downhill putts yeah just all right so you're you're you've got your ride for pro from pro discus you're gonna go start traveling mm -hmm. okay you hit your first stop which was do you know my first what do you mean your first stop in the in the rv uh des moines iowa wasn't it okay yeah and then you have a tournament the next weekend Yes. Okay, so how was that adjustment to go 
tournament, jump in an RV, drive, tournament, jump in an RV. Like, how was that adjustment oh, when you started touring? So awesome, in my opinion. Um, I All I was doing was playing a round of disc golf a day. I was eating really good because I luckily made some money at, uh, in Des Moines. And then I think I headed to Ledgestone after that. Um, did not play great at Ledgestone, but that's probably because I didn't practice the course as much as I thought I, or as much as I should have. I, like at USDGC, I had all my shots planned out. At Ledgestone, I was just kind of hoping that it would come together, and that was not pretty, not very smart. Okay, so you know you're going to USDGC. Tell us about, you know, your first day there when you arrived, and you know what you did. What what was the game plan? Um, my game plan going into USDGC was arriving a few, a few extra days early. I arrived on Friday when the tournament starts on Wednesday. I was so lucky because I qualified at Vibram, so I didn't have to stress about, about that at all. So I just got out on the course, and my goal was to birdie every hole. I wanted to birdie every hole in my practice round, no matter how many throws that took. So I just... It, just throw really good drives on each hole and then, you know, throw an upshot and make your putt. And I did that on every hole except maybe two of them. Hole eight was one of them that I had trouble with. Okay, so you finish first round USDGC, you know you're on the lead card. Was there any kind of nerves or apprehension when you're about to play with defending champ, world champ, so on and so forth? Yes, but luckily there wasn't much, there wasn't many doubts. Um, I was feeling really good in my practice before that. So I just went out and I'm like, I know I can make putts, so let's just throw some good drives, get in position. And I did that on hole one. I could have thrown it into the ground on hole one. I've thrown a lot of flicks into the ground. And there was a lot of people watching, but I gave myself a 30 footer and I cashed in. And that was when my confidence was like, all right, let's play. Watching, watching Ricky. All right, so you're home until when, and then where are you headed? I'm gonna stay here until for about a week. Next Tuesday, I think I'm gonna leave for Piney Woods in Tyler, Texas. I'm gonna start practicing that course or courses, I don't know yet. Then the Oklahoma Open is a really important tournament for me that I want to do really well in. So go up there for a week, get some practice on Blackhawk and Red Hawk, and McAllister at Buffalo Run is the next one after that. Then there's gonna be like Alma Greens and stuff, so I'm excited for that.